I have here another sample problem under group data, but at this time we will be computing it using our computers. Now we can use Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets if that's what you prefer. So to solve this, we still need to use the formula summation of f times x divided by summation of f to compute for the mean data. Now, we need to complete our frequency table. So I suggest that if we are placing the class interval, we need to separate them into two columns. So the lower limit in the A column, the upper limit in the B column. The next thing we need to do is to list everything down. But instead of doing this, we can actually use formulas. So what we can do is type equal, press this column, this cell I mean, plus 10, we get 20. And then we drag it down until we get 50. We, we apply the same steps for the B column. So it's equal sign, click B2, plus 10, we get 29. We drag this until we get the upper limit. So the next thing to do is to list the frequencies. So this should be 8, 16, of course this should be done manually, 21 I mean, 11, and then 4. The next step is to find the midpoint or replace their x. This is why we separated the two limits into two columns so that we could work on them separately. So this should be placed, equal sign should be placed, then open parentheses, 10 plus 19 divided by 2. Again, we're finding the median, so we use this formula. Divided by 2, press enter, we get 14.5. After that, we drag everything down to get the midpoints of each row. Next, we multiply f times x. We just do that by pressing equal sign, 8 times 14.5. Press enter, we get 116. Then drag it down to get the f times x of each row. Now we place your equal sign, we, we press sum, and then we select these cells by holding the left click. And we press here close parenthesis, we get now the total score of 60. Okay, again, we're interested in 60 because this is what's required. We, we need to find out what's summation of f. We also need to find out summation of f times x. So we need to find out the sum for this column. So to do that, we just need to drag this to the right. We will now get the sum of each column. Of course, we're not interested in this, but what we're interested in is summation of f times x. So the mean score or the mean cost for this cell phone plan is equal to 1940 or that is the summation of f times x divided by 60 we get 32.3333 so this is now the average cell phone plan that students avail so if you have any questions you may ask me on our comments section